Today I'll be installing some upgrades into this Acer Aspire laptop that is a little bit on the older side. I've already cleaned up some of the crumbs and dead skin cells with a microfiber cloth and some water. Now mainly I'll be installing a 256GB TimeTech SDL7 solid state drive and 16GB of DDR3 1600MHz RAM. I know that according to the label we have an Intel Core i3-4030 u CPU. So a little bit on the weaker side but I think with these upgrades it's going to be usable at least for basic things. And the reason why I'm filming this video is just to demonstrate that you can still use an older laptop for a myriad of different purposes in 2024. So let's get this thing flipped over and open it up. First off, let's remove the battery. So according to this label, this is a Acer Aspire E5-571Z5WAH. So if you have a similar model, this is how you work on it. For the bulk of the work, you just need a Phillips head screwdriver. Some of these screws have already been taken out, so I guess somebody has either tried to or has already opened this thing up. Let's start by removing the optical drive. Okay, it's just an empty shell. Now using this plastic guitar pick, I'm going to score along the palm rest and release this back cover. Just a quick note, be careful when you're taking off the palm rest because there's ribbon cable connections that could be torn off. Just for reference, the keyboard connection goes down on these two tabs. Touchpad connection goes up on this little black lever. And power cable connection goes up as well with a different color. Overall, this is kind of an annoying feature for servicing a laptop. Putting it back together is going to be kind of a pain in the butt. One recommendation is to put that microfiber cloth on the display panel so you don't scratch it up. Looks like there's easy access to where the SSD is going to be installed. But as you can see, there's no dim slots on this side of the motherboard. And kind of odd that there's no access point on the bottom of the laptop. Just simply screw off and upgrade. So we'll have to flip the motherboard around. Assuming that there's dim slots and not just solder drum. So let's get to work. That was honestly quite the extraction, but luckily we have two dim slots, so I really hope that this RAM works. And let's get this heatsink off so we can apply new thermal paste. So I did that transition and putting some things back together to test out the laptop just to save you the anxiety, PTSD, and trauma of laptop repair. Looks like we're good to go though. The RAM is working. We're going to go install that SSD now. Just a quick update, we're on our way to installing Windows. I'll be back once that's done. All right, so we're all done and the laptop is running well. This thing actually has a touch screen, so that's kind of cool. You can see that we have our 16 gigabytes of RAM installed and the SSD. And there's that two core, four thread, lower speed i3 CPU. So we'll call this complete and hopefully this helped you out. Let me know in the comments below if you're using this laptop in 2024. Have a great day.